Naira drags federal government to court over continuous use of Arabic inscription on Naira, an army logo. A rights activist and lawyer, Chief Malcolm Obirobo, has asked a federal high court to interpret the provisions of Section 10 of the 1999 Constitution in relation to the inscription on the Naira notes and logo of the Nigerian army. The plaintiff filed two suit labeled FHC slash ABJ slash CS slash 2 slash 2020 and FHC ABJ CS slash 3 slash 2020. The defendants in the two suits are Central Bank of Nigeria, Attorney General of the Federation, the Nigerian Army, as well as the Ministry of Defense. Plaintiff is seeking a court interpretation whether by a community reading of Section 10 and 55 of the 1999 Constitution, it is lawful and constitutional for the defendant to permit the Naira notes to be adorned with Arabic inscriptions. In the same vein, the plaintiff is asking whether by a community reading of section, sections 1, 1, 3, 10 and 55 of the 1999 Constitution, it is proper for the defendant to permit the Nigerian Army logo to be adorned or inscribed in Arabic insignia. He is seeking a court interpretation whether by the true letter and spirit of section 10 of the 1999 Constitution, Nigeria is a secular state without any official religion. Plaintiff wants the court to decide whether by the true letters and spirit of section 55 of the 1999 constitution, the official language of Nigeria is English and under special circumstances Aousa, Igbo and Yoruba. No date has been fixed for hearing of the new suit. Wow, this is a good one. Uh, I think uh, day by day, you know, a lot of people are beginning to be enlightened or they are just getting, you know, just they're just being bold to be able to ask or to do some things. You know, one thing about, uh, you know, from uh, from our side, one thing that is really awkward is people don't want to be asked questions, most especially when they know that they cannot provide solution or they can't provide answer for what they have done or they just you know they don't know maybe when they are doing something that is really wrong and somebody is coming to them ah please i don't understand this and why is this like this why is this like this you know they just get offended people don't just want to answer your question but if you know what you are doing is really right and somebody does not know you know you just explain and that's what happens between you know the elderly ones and the younger ones you know it's just as a you know it's assumed that you, as a younger person, you don't ask another an elderly person the question, and it's very, very bad, and we really need to change from that, uh, from that uh, uh, character. When somebody is not sure of something, I think the person needs an answer, but not that. Oh no, 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 no! Don't bother. Don't worry. Why are you doing this? Why are you doing that? What right do you have to ask me a question? What an elephantry! You are so bold, you know. People don't like people who are bored, who can really ask them questions, and they feel uncomfortable. You know, a lot of people is, will be coming out for this guy now. You know, he, like he explained, he clearly explained and asked the question, and he, he wants an interpretation to be given to the reason why this thing, you know, all this inscription, all that he has said, you know, happening on a Naira notes. Uh, just like they have said, no date has been fixed yet. So I know that... Some people just come from one corner and say, no, 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 no. It's like this guy is not even serious. He's not even, he's not, he doesn't have work to do. That is why uh, he's asking irrelevant questions. They are not irrelevant questions. You know, because a lot of things have been brewing now and a lot of people are going back to see, okay, why this, why that? And that's why you see a lot of people, or hear a lot of people saying, this uh, constitution they are talking about, that uh, the Nigerian people wrote this constitution uh, as agreed by Nigerian people. And people have been saying that this constitution is faulty because it's like two or three people just put themselves together and they put up this constitution and they are imposing and, you know, forcing it down Nigerian truth as a uh, Nigerian truth that they brought this whole thing together or they agree on this constitution and nobody is saying anything because this uh, constitution is really favoring some people and some people are just on the waiting list for people who are there to go out so that they will come in even you know a lot of things are shredded in secrecy in this country and when people begin to ask questions they begin to feel uncomfortable people begin to ask for their right they begin to feel uncomfortable and some people that even know they are just intimidated they don't even want anything to really happen to them because the more you start asking questions the more you start picking out you know picking out holes on things 
the more you begin to have problem you know we you know what happened to uh what is happening right now with say she with sunny you know and he has come out to say all of these allegations all this uh, whatever you know that they cannot they cannot hold water they are, they are just framing him up and now they are still keeping this man there so uh, before you can say anything in this country you must just be bold and you know and be sure of what you are doing you must be bold that is one thing because before you know it you'll be intimidated like this guy that is coming out now you will even be hearing from the masses that would oh why is he asking this question oh this thing has been there uh, right from time immemorial why this question yes there will be this question because a lot of people are beginning to see the handwriting on the wall that some things are not adding up a lot of people have seen all of these things before but it's just that people don't really want to listen to them and People don't see the need for that. That you know, what is there's no big deal about it. But with what is happening now, a lot of people are beginning to recollect or recollect what you know has been said before, and they need to, you know, we need to get explanations. It's not everybody that will just face one direction, just like I always say, even if people talk about oh, Nigeria is this, Nigeria is that, we still have credible people, we still have people who are intelligent, we still have people who know what is happening, uh, you know, what is. Uh, what is right to be done at a particular time? It's not everybody that you can just intimidate. It's not everybody that will just that will just give in to anything they just hear or anything they just see. So it's a welcome development. It's just a little question, and let the court interpret why it's like that. Because we are made to believe that Nigeria is a secular state, so it's not a religious state. It's a secular state. But it's like the politicians are just looking for ways. You know, when they want to get one or two things, if they are not getting it, they just use that. Uh, those avenues like a uh, religion, uh, ethnicity, they bring all manner of things just to destabilize the whole place. And they are bringing, you know, at government level, they are bringing in a lot of things. You know, the other time the CGN came up and said, oh, uh, you would like Sharia to be fully implemented in our constitution as a country. People started, you know, coming, you know, from left, right and center. How can a CGN be saying that? So if a, a CGN... Who really suggest that then why would this man not ask a simple question why will he not ask a simple question so we'll be waiting for when they are going to fix the date and let us know why uh, these questions that this man has put up why we are seeing them on our naira notes so guys that's just my own opinion my candid opinion you know if you have your opinion concerning this or your submission let us know in the comment section but before we do that let us hear what your people are saying Someone said this man is very right. I think that question needs a respond, respond quickly. It's unfair in a country like this that is full of different tribes and states and the currency will be written in Arabic of what, of which supposed to be written in English. Please, I think the best is a break up. Someone said educated, illiterate, binded, binded, blinded by dog in, in the manga attitude. You don't want others to enjoy what you have enjoyed. English inscription is there for you. Why Arabic inscription is there for those Nigerians who need this? That's what somebody is saying here. And someone says, what, Why did you accept England to colonize you instead of any of the Arabic countries? You know, as, answering this particular question that, you know, English is there, uh, Arabic is there for those who do not, whatever. So which whole language? Because it is not part of, it's not an official language. In the first place, Arabic is not our official language. English, you know, is the official language. So it has to be there. So, and this person is asking, why didn't you, why did you allow England to colonize you instead of any of the Arabic countries? Someone say, imagine the direction you are coming from. Is Arabic our language or communication? When do you see Arabic to communicate with your brother or neighbor and you are here calling someone educated, illiterate? It's indeed a pity. Hmm. Someone say, uh, Nonsense before he born, the Arabic word is there. Before he was born, that's what this person is talking about. You know, these people are, you know, uh, uh, on the side of the, the government, you know, why they, try, they are trying to justify the reason why the Arabic uh, inscription and the army logo is there. And someone says, what do you mean? Is Nigeria Arabic-speaking country or English-speaking country? Um, and someone says, a good job, you know, commending the person that really... This a uh, activist, a lawyer that really brought out this a uh, um this old thing to uh, the public knowledge. 
Someone say, what is your headache on it? Does it disturb your business? That means you are totally, uh, you should totally show hatred to Islam. You shall not succeed. That's what this person is talking about. And is the response. Also, someone says, look at you. Hmm. We are not Arabs. God bless you, sir, for bringing up this uh, question. Nice one, sir. Wish you success. Good one, sir. Wish you success. Many people don't know their uh, rights from their left. Even when they see ones to help them, you will hear them talking uh, rubbish. I don't disturb uh, your business, sir. Please write on. Uh, it's a wake-up call. We have been fooled enough. Hmm. And someone say, army logo interpretation means victory is from God. So, guys, uh, what do you think by these uh, questions that this uh, uh, activist uh, is putting up before the court? Um, Chief uh, Malcolm Omirobo asking the federal government court to interpret the provisions of the Section 10 and of the 1999 Constitution in relation to the inscription on the naira notes and logo of the nigeria army simple question you didn't let them answer it and let us get the reason why it's like that so that people will not be insinuating what is not because if everybody is clear on why all of this is a day you know life will move on but people don't understand something just you know they should keep quiet they should do say anything you know it's not going to work it's not going to help anybody so guys let's hear your own take leave your comments below in the comment section thank you